So I got an email from Sam. Let's read it now. And uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to meet up. Let's meet up with Sam and with Alexis. It's going to be on East Houston Street. It's uh, 137 East Houston. We're going to try some knishes. Guys are behind here playing some basketball. Love it. See it. And this is the spot here to your right. 137 East Houston Street. Yona Shimmel Kanish Bakery. All right, let's wait for Sam and Alexis and then we'll get started. I'm excited for this. Guys, if you're ever in the city, send me an email. Uh, as long as you're not a serial killer, I appreciate it. But uh, we'll go out and we'll get some food. Bye. Let's film the inside a little bit and we'll uh, see how it is since 1910. Look, they got a little tour over here going. I didn't pay for the tour, but let's listen in. There you go. Carbohydrates two ways. I got caught. He looked at me. He's like, what are you doing? But now you know what a knish is. Let's try it out. my guy so this is what we got we got two potatoes and one apple strudel and they're just warming it up for us all right as promised i'm here with sam and with alexis where are you guys from florida. we're from venice florida venice florida awesome so i do uh so i got the email i'll show you guys the email i got the invitation and i always love invitations so i came over here we're going to try it out but how'd you know about this spot so my great grandmother lived two blocks that way well lived two blocks that way um and anytime my dad when he was a kid uh he and his family would come into the city to visit her and they'd stop here and grab knishes and bring them with um so anytime we make it into the city we make a, a point of coming here because it's oh, kind of a family tradition that's they've awesome. been open since 1910 um so that's over 110 years now let's try it out so i you guys got the potato one, yeah, and I got the apple strudel. So let's all try the potato together. They're so beefy. They are. Yeah, this thing's heavier than uh, <laughs> than I remember. Wow, this is the apple strudel. Dude. All right. Thank you guys. Yeah. So let's try it out on the count of three. So it's just potato, Pretty much, yeah. onion, and dough. Yeah. Right. But uh, a plate of mashed potatoes seasoned with a little black pepper, wrapped in some potato-based dough, and baked into a portable format. I like there you the go. Carbohydrates too. It's and it, and you can tell this has to weigh what a pound and a half. Probably a pound. This is this is heavy. Yeah. All right, ready on three. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you guys. One, two, three. Mm. Nailed it. Onion. Not overpowering though. Hits the spot. Really hits the spot. What do you think? It's very good. <laughs> yeah, they've got a lot of different flavors. I think last time they were in there, they had like pizza with uh, tomato and cheese in it. Yeah. So I got apple strudel. I'm trying to figure. It's it's very basic. It's onion. It's onion and dough. This water. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this is this is heavy. This is only my second time having the ownership. Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah? Second time? Yeah. Yeah, the last time we were in the city a year ago, we got engaged. Yes. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. I proposed at uh, Washington Square Park. You did? Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Surprised or you knew it was coming? No, I didn't know. Yeah, right. No, she knew it was coming. He was, he was acting weird, and I was like, what's going on? So we were, okay, so she, she works for a company. Uh, I don't know. It's a noisy it's, city. It's very common. It's coming this way, that way. She works remotely for a company, uh, a photo agency, manages their website and stuff, processes work as it comes in. And, yeah. Uh, we went to visit the actual physical office, and I was like, 
hey, let's, on the way, let's go to Washington Square Park. And she was like, no, no, let's not. And I was like, no, let's go to Washington Square Park. And it almost turned into an argument, and I was so glad it didn't. Uh-huh. Well, you knew it was acting weird. Yeah. yeah. Women yeah. always know. Women always know. They act like they don't. We but don't they argue know. about stuff. We, like, go yeah. with the flow. But yeah. I was like, I was like, no, we're going. You have to go. <laughs> so you had something set up at the park, or it was just No, out? I handed my phone off, and I was like, hey, can you just take a bunch of pictures of us? Mm-hmm. And then I got down on one knee. The people that were taking the pictures didn't even know. No. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. It all was right. So cold. It was in March. And, you know, Florida's very hot all the time. Yeah. So. I know. I know. Right now, is it colder or hot for you? I'm bundled up. Yeah, you're unbundled up. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's not too bad right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, here it gets. Well, you know how New York gets. Yeah. You, get, you get four feet of snow in New York. I'm going to show a little bit. This is definitely filling, very filling. Very. I like can't finish my. Yeah, we no. have shared one. We had breakfast an hour ago too, so there's that. You definitely can share one. The tour guide was saying that they were going to go out of business, um, but then somebody offered them an online shipping service, turned them onto an online shipping service, and they started selling. Oh, because of the pandemic? I don't know. I don't, it probably I, has I didn't to hear be. the time period. I, yeah. I just like. That was all I picked up from the tour guide. I didn't yeah. pay for the tour, so I yeah, I know. I, I was trying to sneak in also a little <laughs> some info. I'm gonna try apple strudel. I got a big stomach. Oh no, you have it. Yeah. Have it. Show uh, the difference in this one. I got it. All right, you got the apple bits on there. You guys want a piece just to try it out? I like don't have any room. You, no room? I can't All even right. finish this one. All right, I'll be the fatty of the group. That's what I do, so I might as well. I like watching your lives when you do hot dog marathons. Uh -huh. One after the other after the other. That's us, but with cannoli. Uh huh. It's funny because I'm like, there's no way I could do this. And then like five or six, and I'm still going. <laughs> so. This is that you know. This is more like a. Um, it's a lot sweeter, obviously, because of What's cause the other apple. Than apple cinnamon. Yeah, so you have it's almost like an apple pie, oh. put inside a, a knish. Yeah. yeah, that's basically it. It's like an apple pie put inside a knish. That's it, because you got the layering at, uh, on the outside, the potato. Yeah. But then you have cinnamon. And you got some sort of crust in there, also very yeah. good. This is why I love the bakeries, man, because yeah. when you go to other countries and you wake up early in the morning, you smell the fresh bread and everybody's awake at 4 a.m. cooking. You could tell this is nice. They were, uh, they were down the basement uh, still baking, yelling at each other in Yiddish. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Get more out. This is I like this one a little bit better than the potato one. Potato one, I would have put some mustard on there. Yeah. Oh, Sam, you imagine you got a business? Yeah, we, uh, we have a vintage business we sell all kinds of vintage stuff um we have an instagram page where we focus mostly on clothing um it's efron vintage um and yeah we just we 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 go picking we go out garage sales estate sales that kind of thing oh really yeah out in florida yeah, yeah. oh nice. yeah because uh people retire there so they they bring a, a lifetime. lifetime's worth of collections of stuff um and they bring it down there with them and then they realize they don't even have a basement to put it in right so people come down and they have to have big sales or they they come down and they do manage to squeeze everything into their little house but when they pass away it, it, it's got to go wow so you guys are like american pickers yeah now you're just going right in do you film it do you do something no we know that? people that do um i like to play it kind of close to the chest okay um there's a lot of there's a lot of reseller youtubers okay uh yeah. So there's that, that there's there's a, a level of competition. Not the ideal spot, but it's New York. The reason why people were able to make money in the first place with eBay is because they knew things that other people didn't about where to get stuff, what stuff was worth, you know, or they had a market for it yeah. that didn't exist in that geographic location. And now people are putting all that information out there. And I don't, I, I'd rather not blow it up like that. Exactly. You know, if I can if I can avoid it. I say the same thing with the uh, how to make money, right? That they sell books. Yep. How, does, how to make money in real yeah. estate. If you were really making money, you wouldn't make a book. Yep. You'd keep it quiet. Yeah, nobody gives that away. No one gives any of that away. Yeah. You keep it quiet and you keep making money. Yeah. So that's good for you guys. Thank you. So, so, oh, and what's like the coolest thing you've, you've found or sold? Oh boy. You know, 
know how often we get that question? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's every, such a hard question. Every week we just on the way here, I found a cool watch. Um, I found a Monopoly board watch. I'm gonna show this here. one. Yeah, sure. That was in Chinatown. This was in Chinatown. That's from the 80s. It's from the 80s? Go on the website, 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. No, I it's awesome. The, the coolest item that we found was actually some carnival heads. They were cast iron. Yeah, from a carousel. Yeah, from 1910? 1919. Yeah. They were, they're cast iron. Um, faces like masks and they go around the top edges of carousel um they were actually manufactured in new york okay there's a i wish i knew the name off the top of my head yeah. um but there was a, a factory that made that kind of stuff north of here and, okay. and uh we found we found a set and they had wooden the wooden shields that they were mounted on um that that was one of our best just an overall best sale. We found all kinds of cool stuff at that one. Who buys it? Someone who just wants to collect? Yeah, collectors. Um, we sell to like prop houses and movie studios sometimes. Um, just like two weeks ago, are you familiar with the Jackass guys? Yes. We Very. Sold, we sold <laughs> something to uh, Danger Aaron. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's so awesome. That's pretty cool. That was uh, that was exciting for all us. All right, good, good. All right, guys. Anything else you guys want to mention? No, really? just no, just hanging out in New yeah. York. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate fun. you meeting up with us. No, no, this is this is uh, this is what I love. You know, I can't believe I had two. I'm gonna finish these on Wait, the train, by the way. It? Yeah, <laughs> and we're, I'm gonna finish them on the train. Our friends, we've got a couple of friends who are YouTubers, so we've uh -huh. been in YouTube videos before, but never okay. in, like so formal like this. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's I fun. mean. You know what it is? It's like I feel like um, can it be more elaborate? And you got all the like the camera crew, but I feel like it's it's this is how it is. It's yeah, normal. yeah. Because one of the things that I hated, I don't want to mention names, but there was a couple of YouTube videos that I that I I was like, oh, I didn't know about this spot. Like, yeah, let's say this one, Kanish, right? And the guy gives you like a four pound Kanish, and it's and it's beautiful, and you're like, wow, that's awesome. And then when you come here, they give you the little one. They're like, so this like wasn't on the video. Yeah. Agent. Yeah, I'm like, this is a little one. This, yeah. You know, this isn't what they showed on the video. Undercover yeah, hot dogs. Yeah, undercover <laughs> hot dogs. So this is what you get. You know, yeah. some people get angry or whatever, but that's what you get. Yeah. If you cool, come man. to New York and you go in, this is what this, this is what they're gonna feed you, basically. Yeah. So it's good. That that's why I like doing it because I'm like, this is because I would watch these it's videos. It's a public like, service. It is a public service. I feel like it is because I watch these videos. I'm like, they know they're being filmed. Yeah. And the guy's just putting like mountains of uh, toppings. And, and you're like, wow, this is amazing. But that's not what you're going to do. Pleasure. When are you guys going back? Uh, Wednesday. We'll oh, back. Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. So what, do you, what are the plans now? What are you going to do? Go get Chinese Proposal's food. done. <laughs> right, proposal's done. Kanish is done. Chinese food. Right. What do you guys go for Chinese food? Tiny town. Yeah, we're well, just gonna walk around it. Walk we, around? Last year we went to a place called uh, the Deluxe Green Bow. Green Bow is the best soup oh, dumplings. Oh, you, you went by it in, yeah. one of your, in yes. one of your lives. I did. And we were like, holy shit, we went there. Yeah, yeah. so, so Green Bow has the best soup dumplings. If you want more family style, there's Wo Hop and Hop Key. That, the, those okay. are the, the basement ones. Yeah. You walk by, it's like in a basement. And they serve family style, so okay. just so you're aware. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes, like, uh, like yeah. dim sum, like small. Places. Yeah, then you okay. get to try a lot of stuff. Exactly, exactly. Because the biggest mistake you make is you show up and you're like, oh, "I'll try pork fried rice," and then they just bring out this mound of pork fried rice. Uh, <laughs> so you got to be careful when you order. That. That's good. That's good. All right, guys, thank you so much. Hey, pleasure yeah. to meet you, man. Bro, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Alexis. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Here's Sam. Last picture of the building. Look what Sam gave me. This is a great gift. I love it already. Really good. Enjoyed it a lot. Next time you're in the city, I'll tell you something. It is heavy. Oof. It's a full meal. But it's good. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Love, love and subscribe. Bye.